Hello, hello, welcome. Today I want to teach you how to see death on the cards. It's a it's a really touchy subject for obvious reasons, but one of the things that in death, I mean suicide or a botched surgery or something. So the other day we did a reading on a guy, just some random, to see if he was an agent. And the cards were starting to become what I have learned or know as suicide. So I want to give a warning. But if you are learning tarot or you're an expert, then this might become helpful for you. Mystical Fortunes posted it um, a couple of years ago. She's great. And the very next day, I was doing a reading on an active alcoholic and I got all of the suicide cards so that things just got super serious. With that being said, though, I think if your intentions are pure and you're working from the highest and whitest light, then you need to know. It's like all knowledge. <laughs> the more you know. And once you know it, then you can always keep it in the back of your mind. I also am relaunching the courses that I did, and I would like to include this in it. And so I've already taken out the cards that, to me, I mean, if you have a different way of doing it, share it with us. That would be really cool. But, all right, so I've, I've taken out the cards that, to me, and individually, they don't mean anything. But I'm going to lay them out on the table, and then we're going to walk through them. Okay. So, first of all, well, if you got this hand, we have the Ten of Swords. The twin of, Ten of Swords upright, to me, this is overkill, straight up, like death, dead, 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 anyway. In reverse, it can mean recovery. It can mean the swords are falling out so you can start healing. Perhaps it's a betrayal or whatever that looks like. When you have the Ten of Swords next to, I mean, this could go with any of them. You have the Tower and a Ten. That's not a, I mean, the Tower basically, okay, first of all, let me start with that. That does not mean death in the tarot. The world actually should be death. Death in the tarot is change. It's like, oh, you graduated college. Oh, you're getting married. It's a, it's a life-changing event, but it's not a catastrophic life-changing event, quite like the tarot or the tower. So when you get death next to, well, if you got these three cards, this to me, I, I mean, this is pretty clear. It says death. Tower is a catastrophic event to me. This is 9-11. And the world is an end. So, if you got... Okay, let's start with this. This is a medical card. If you got the Ace of Swords, this is a contract or whatever. If you get it in reverse, this can be a botched surgery. So if you got, like, death, and the four of, and the ace of swords, I would tell you not to have that surgery. There's not malpractice necessarily, but perhaps infection. So you have to look at the cards around it and follow your intuition. Your intuition won't lie. The hanged man, to me. You got the hanged man and the devil, the hanged man and death, the hanged man and tower. This is a this can be a suicidal card. I mean, the Four of Swords. We all know. Well, if you follow me, or you're new here, or you've been here, this to me straight up dead boy. This is a coffin, and I know other readers read it, and I've learned that it's like a resting card. No, there are better cards for resting than laying on a coffin. That. Swords are your air signs, so that's your communication centers. Mouth, throat, chest. This is a straight-up coffin. This is a symbolic 
This is symbolic of the divine. So you're connecting to the divine. And there's a mom holding a baby in this window. I mean, if you get this in a real life reading, I would ask them what was going on. But when it's near something like, well, the devil, this could be an overdose. Devil means addiction. And when it's in reverse, it's you're freeing your chains of your addiction. When it's upright, especially next to the Four of Swords. Shit just got real. If you see something like, I mean, well, the world's always an end. So if you saw something like, I'm trying to think of more suicidal cards. Here's the Two of Swords. You're stuck between an impossible, two impossible decisions because you've made so many bad decisions. Now you're here. The world, to me, would be, well, it's coming to an end. These bad decisions might have led you to. This reminds me of the Karen Reed case when they were going to, I think it was Proctor was going to go against the family. His choice was about to be an eight by eight cell or eight feet under. Then if you had. Basically, those are the six or how many eight cards that you want to look at. Keep an eye on it. The death card does not mean death, though. That's something to be very mindful of. It doesn't mean death. It's an end of a cycle. But the four of swords means death to me. Ten of swords clearly means death to me. He's dead. It's an overkill card. The devil is an addiction. So this could be a drug alcohol, who knows. Ace of Swords upright is a contract. Ace of Swords in reverse is, a, to me, a bad surgery. Like, not in... It's not malevolent. It's not... Their intentions were fine, but perhaps an infection came. The world, to me, and done. The Tower, 9-11, done. And the Hanged Man, is hanging around, but to me, this is no free will. This little guy can't get down if he wanted to. He needs someone else to help him. There's no free will here. So when you see these kinds of cards, specifically these eight in a tarot reading, it's shit just got real. And it's time to start asking some hard questions. And that's okay. That's why people come to you and that's why you are doing it for them. But just remember to keep an eye on that in the back of your mind if you see it. So with that, I will love you and leave you and I will see you next time.